Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Starr and you are talking with Tiff. Who do we have here? It's our old pal, Sensitive Society, and my how his channel has grown. 202k subscribers! Wow, that's 202k more than he deserves! Look at this output though! One day ago, two days ago, three days ago, three days ago, four days ago, four days ago. This would be more impressive to me if he actually scripted out his content, but he doesn't. He just talks off the cuff. Still though, this is quite the amount of content. And to his credit, some of these videos don't look as contentious as his older ones. A lot of this content just looks like clickbaity, pop culture, celebrity gossip shit. And as far as I can tell, there aren't as many anti-SJW clickbaity titles like the last few I went over. But here's the thing, people. I remember this guy being incredibly stupid. Dimmer than a blackout during a solar eclipse. And that's not something you can easily remedy. So I figured we could watch one of his more recent videos to see if his opinions have improved. Or if he's still as thick as a mammoth skull encased in adamantium. Oh, so many to choose from. She's white and she hates white people? Oof, tempted to watch that one. White people are the problem, right? Who tempted to watch that one too. My channel almost got terminated. Pff, too bad it fucking didn't. Oh, I think I found a winner. This OnlyFan girl thinks men don't deserve happiness. First thing we always do, people, is we downvote. We always downvote anti-SJW scumbags, especially ones with really tiny penises. All right, let's do the sense of society. Change my opinion on you. What's going on, Latin? So I was scrolling through Twitter a while ago. I should remind everyone that this guy just records his voice without a script, just says whatever comes to his mind, and then superimposes his voice onto his inept gameplay and calls it a day. That's fucking content to him. Oh, and one of my mutuals retweeted this, and I've never seen this tweet till literally five minutes ago. And it's a tweet that's completely unoffensive. Just a tweet like these tweets that I make bangers, right? So this. Something tells me that if we go on his Twitter account, none of his tweets are going to be bangers. So this person said, men deserve happiness too. 87,000 likes, which, you know, pretty cool actually. I support that. I think men, women should be happy. I honestly can't be happy. I legitimately think I'm dead inside. I feel no emotions whatsoever, but that's just me. I simply don't deserve happiness at all. I actually have to agree with sensitive society here. I think he is dead inside. That explains a lot, especially when it comes to the content of his videos. Additionally, I don't think he deserves happiness, not because he's like a man or something like that, but because he's a terrible human being. Joking aside though, I actually do agree with sensitive society. I want everyone to be happy. Men, women, non-binary people, binary trans people, everyone. And I feel like I speak for the majority of humanity when I say that most of us want to live happy and healthy lives. So, so far, so good, sense of society. I agree with you. Let's see how you fuck it up. Anyways, I saw this tweet. I was like, yeah, that's cool. I didn't think anything of it until I read the replies. And it's wild there. You have people saying, thank you. You deserve happiness too. I'm happy. Thanks for the boost. I think women should be happy too. I'm 19 years old and I'm happy as I can. Yeah, these are all nice tweets. There's no argument here so far. Like, I'm on his side. Like, hey, no, I agree with you. This is like great. Fuck, holy shit. I didn't think I'd say that. Maybe he has learned his lesson. Maybe he's not a douchebag anymore and I have to retract some of the shit I said about him. You think, yeah, this is a positive tweet. We finally have something good come from Twitter. We finally have positivity coming from Twitter.com. Everyone knows how toxic Twitter is. He's not wrong. Twitter is super fucking toxic. It really is. I would know. <laughs> If you get into politics, trust me, you'll fucking know just how toxic Twitter can be. Everyone who's been a sensitive society watcher knows exactly the- Well, I'm not a sensitive society watcher. Listen, sensitive society, I only watch you to dunk on your videos. Except for today. Today I'm actually interested to see if you have grown as a person and your personality is less shit. That is what I'm more interested in today. But usually I just watch his stuff to like dunk on you. Pain in the Twitter has put us through. Going back to the original tweet, there's nothing wrong with this tweet. But guess who didn't like it? Women. And you lost me. I was in agreeance with you until that broad generalization. Sure, some women will respond to this tweet in a negative way. But to paint it as all women in general, even though we just saw some of those replies were from women, that's the kind of shit you'd find on incel message boards. 
person said no. She just replied with no. Apparently, men don't deserve happiness anymore. Guys, fellas, happiness is canceled. Happiness is no more. I haven't clicked on the profile yet, but I bet you $25 that this girl has no OnlyFans. I mean, really? You didn't click on the profile before you made this video? Yeah, you did. You already know she's an OnlyFans girl. Don't try and bullshit us. We're not fucking stupid. Well, your audience is really fucking stupid, but... Don't try to bullshit me and my audience. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This girl doesn't want men to be happy. Let's click on her profile. Big waifu energy. Only fans. What is it with this guy and women having only fans? He talks about it all the fucking time in numerous videos, and he'll even put it in the title of some of his videos. It's a site where people make money by selling content that people want. You know, kind of like any business ever. Sure, people sell nudes on only fans, but that's called porn. Something that has been around for fucking ever. I mean, fuck, even cavemen had drawings of naked women on walls and tablets. Hell, he even called me an OnlyFans girl in a response video to one of my videos where I rightfully pointed out what a piece of shit he is. And I don't even have an OnlyFans. I also find it funny that he made a response video to one of my videos, yet he'll shit on other people that do the exact same thing that he did to me. Hypocrite much, sensitive society? Also, does he realize that there are OnlyFans profiles that don't sell or have nudity on them? A lot of cosplayers will use OnlyFans in order to make money, to buy more materials, to make more costumes. And trans people People will use OnlyFans to help fund their gender reaffirming surgeries because in a lot of states, those surgeries are not covered under their insurance. So my question to Mr. Sensitive over here is, what is your obsession with women on OnlyFans? Is it the porn aspect? Because let me tell you people, there's no way in hell that this guy isn't jerking it raw every day to some big boobas. He probably has a folder on his desktop labeled Lady Dimitrescu, Hentai, and Futa. I swear, the more I listen to this guy, the more comfortable I am calling him a virgin or an incel. And for the record, there is nothing wrong with being a virgin or involuntarily celibate. But these kinds of unhealthy talking points and jabs usually stem from those communities. You take away money from thirsty, lonely, pathetic man. <laughs> wow, he is projecting so hard right here. It's honestly really sad. First off, not everyone who donates money to women does so because they're thirsty or lonely. There are a lot of people in relationships that still masturbate to porn. I know plenty of men who are in serious relationships who still look at porn, and trust me, they're not having trouble getting laid. Also, I find it ironic that the title of his video is Men Don't Deserve Happiness, and then he proceeds to shit on men and what makes them happy. What he just did right here is literally no better than the woman who said, no, men don't deserve happiness. It's a sad fact that, yeah, there are a lot of lonely men out there who, for one reason or another, have trouble developing romantic relationships. In fact, let's check out this recent graph that I'm almost 100% certain sensitive society falls on. Young male virginity on the rise. Share of men under age 30 who report zero female sex partners since they turned 18 is up to 27%. And there's another study that shows that the percentage of men who haven't had sex in the past year is up to 28%, only one percentage higher than this. Meaning that if you're a male that hasn't had sex in the past year, chances are you haven't had sex at all. And keep in mind, these are only the men willing to disclose the truth. This doesn't include the men who refuse to accept that they're not sex gods, meaning that the numbers are likely higher than 27%. And this number keeps rising every year. This was in 2018. Results are even higher now for male virginity. These are alarming numbers, and this is a serious problem. So every time sensitive dickhead makes fun of sad and lonely men, he's talking about a lot of men. Men who feel awful about the lack of intimacy and romance in their life. Men who will develop social problems due to said lack of intimacy and romance. And despite all that, the sky 
sees it perfectly fit to dunk on them for supporting the models they like and for developing parasocial relationships. You know, I have to wonder, does he think that men who donate to my video game streams are also lonely and pathetic? I mean, I am a woman. I have big milkers. We've already established that you don't have to be naked on OnlyFans. So I'm just curious how he would perceive donating to a woman on Twitch as opposed to OnlyFans. And then you're like, no. They don't deserve happiness because if they're happy, they won't pay to see my body anymore. She probably did this for clout. I mean, knowing thirsty people from Twitter were going to click on her profile picture. I mean, that's what I did, um, obviously. So, yeah, it worked. You got me. <laughs> did anyone catch that? <laughs> that was a self-own. He just inadvertently admitted to being thirsty. Projection. What'd I tell you, people? Also, how does an OnlyFans girl have clout? Clout implies she has power and influence over others. She's just an OnlyFans girl. It just feels like he's throwing that word out there because he read it somewhere. It's like he was reading a fan-made Resident Evil Village hentai where Ethan was strapped naked to a wooden chair with Lady Dimitrescu's bloody vampire d**ks all up in Ethan's face. Then she leans over, further smothering him with her breasts while whispering in his ear, This is my castle. These are my subjects. You hold no clout here. And after he finished rubbing the genie out of the bottle, he's like, Hey, you know, that word clout, I'm gonna throw it in my video. <laughs> Does it surprise me that someone with OnlyFans has a stupid take, a stupid opinion? No. <laughs> <sighs> here we go again with the generalizations. What he's implying here is that if you have an OnlyFans page, you're automatically unintelligent. Which is a dumb claim to make because there's no data that suggests that people with OnlyFans have a lower IQ on average than people who don't. This just seems like a lame attempt at a dunk. This person said, no, and put this meme up that says, I beg your fucking pardon, excuse me sis you don't think men deserve happiness ring 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 the streets are calling it for you <laughs> what's your name consciousness over oh i'm not reading that this part well you know what i'll read that because i'm not a fucking pussy consciousness over coochie is what it said now sense of society if you don't know the definition of coochie i'll happily explain it to you it's the thing that you'll never get person said what would you say this during women's history month it was just a tweet why do people look into this it was just a tweet i would have no problem if this said women deserve happiness it's just a tweet i wouldn't go on and say um actually women don't deserve happiness because women equals bad <laughs> no it's just stupid it's just a tweet you don't need to look into it any further why do you have to say this during women's history month I agree with him here. There's nothing wrong with saying men deserve happiness. The only reason I could fathom they would write that tweet is because in their mind, women's month should only be about women. With no mention of men whatsoever, which just seems silly to me. I think she jumped the gun a bit and took that initial tweet as a slight against women. When in reality, it wasn't meant to trigger anyone at all. It was just clarifying that men also deserve to be happy. Mm, all men are horrible. I hate people who hate women for no reason i hate people that hate men for no reason it's stupid that's some second grade shit dude that's some elementary school shit right there she never said all men were horrible and no one you've shown thus far has explicitly said that they hated men granted one could inductively reason that if you don't want men to obtain happiness you probably have a chip on your shoulder that being said sensitive society people don't hate others for absolutely no reason. Now they may hate or dislike someone for an asinine reason, like you did with the entire Naughty Dog staff in that video I did on you, but there's always a reason. Also, I love how he calls this elementary school shit when he literally made a video about how upset he was that people who don't look like him will be put into The Last of Us 2. Pot? Meat kettle. I love how this woman got ratio. She got two likes and 25 comments. Rip her mentions. This person said, no, they absolutely do not deserve happiness. And this person said, not all men. And some replied with no in a heart emoji. I mean, thank you for not hurting my feelings that much. As far as I know, being ratioed means fuck all in regards to Twitter. And it's to be expected when either A, someone has a really cringe take, or B, when someone with a large fan base tells their fans to bombard a tweet that they don't like. Alright, so one of these people responded with, not all men, and I agree. 
Another person said no in response to the initial no, which is based. And I may be a little biased, but I fucking love hot emojis, so that's obviously my favorite one. Saying men deserve happiness or saying old man should die doesn't really affect me in any way. It's not like it's boosting my ego, boosting my self-confidence when I hear shit like that, or lowering for that fact. Again, no one so far has said all men should die. That's a severe straw man. And as a reminder to sense of society, you are not the only man in existence. I know, right? Pfft, who would have known that? So even if it doesn't affect you personally when people say things like men don't deserve happiness, it will impact other men in a negative way. And trust me, you don't want to red pill any more men or push them towards the MGTOW movement. Also, if saying men don't deserve happiness has no effect on you, then why did you make this video? I just thought, hey, why not make fun of stupid people like these who are looking into something that doesn't need to be looked into? Oh, I see now. That's why. Okay. Hey, listen, sense of society. I get it, okay? I get it. I make fun of stupid people all the time. In fact, I'm doing it right now. I mean, how could I not? You're such an easy target. So you say the whole reason you made this was to make fun of stupid people. But there are plenty of other stupid things people say that you can make fun of. So why this tweet response out of all others? What drew you to this topic specifically? Are you really not bothered when people say men don't deserve happiness? It's just a simple tweet. You could have just ignored it. But no, you chose to engage to say no. Men deserve to be miserable. Deserve to be, you know, humiliated or whatever. Again, no one has said thus far in this video that men need to be miserable or humiliated. The tweet you're referring to literally just says no. Yet you're trying to straw man the fuck out of this person by unearthing a bunch of speculation from that one response. Listen, if you're just saying men don't deserve to be humiliated or made miserable just because they're men, then I agree. But trying to speculate as to what they really mean by their response is not only pointless, but some may consider it flat out lying if you tell them that they said something they actually did not say. It's like, okay, okay, you need to go outside. This person said, no, they fucking don't. Now, this person right here has an anime profile picture, and I believe, I could be mistaken, but in the law, it says that people with anime profile pictures and their opinions don't matter at all. But hey, that's just me. I'm not the CEO of the law. I'm just saying this. Okay, first off, that tweet that says, no, they fucking don't is not pog very very unbased super cringe but trying to make fun of them for having an anime profile pic come on sense of society i know you're attempting to make a joke here but it's just not funny also remember people jokes like this are coming from a guy who doesn't show his face on youtube videos just his inept call of duty gameplay the pot is now fucking the kettle this person is a fucking moron and got ratioed 67 comments versus 3 likes. What an L. Alright guys. Again, ratios mean fuck all on Twitter. It's not going to affect the algorithm the same way it does with YouTube videos. Guys, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. I just thought, hey, this could be a quick, funny video. Well, you're half right, sensitive society. It was quick, but it sure as hell was not funny. This is the point in his video where he's going to beg for people to subscribe to him, and we're going to deny him this on my video because he doesn't deserve any more subs. He doesn't deserve the ones he has. That said, I don't mind begging on my own channel. Hey everyone, I am Tiffany Starr, also known as the Adult Entertainer Gamer. I do video games and politics. If you liked this video, or want to come see me rage at video games or dunk on other anti-SJW gamer bros, turfs, and conservatives, then smack that like button and smack that subscribe button. Not to sound like Jerry Springer here, but for my final thoughts, this video was actually a lot less contentious than his other video I went over. Now, that doesn't mean it wasn't dog shit, because it was definitely dog shit. We agree that hating men for the sake of hating men is a big no-no. The only men that I hate are conservatives, republicans, racists, homophobes, transphobes, misogynists, anti-semites, and just bigots in general, none of which have to do with their gender identity. It is for this reason that I do shit on sense of society, because a lot of his videos incorporate 
either one or multiple of the objectives I just laid out. This video had quite a bit of misogyny in it, as well as resentment towards sex workers, which by the way is another position commonly held by members of the incel community. It also bears repeating just how bad faith sensitive society really is. He made a response video on me that will go over at some point, claiming that I was a thought and an OnlyFans girl, two things I am objectively not. Additionally, he claimed he couldn't be a white supremacist because he's Spanish. For one, we don't even know if he's telling the truth. And even if he was, statistically the odds of him being 100% of one ethnicity is highly unlikely. And I've never seen the guy, for all I know, he's white passing. Secondly, if he or his audience had bothered to use Google for literally two minutes, they would have discovered that there are people who actively go against their own community and their own self-interest. There are black people that don't like other black people. There are trans women that will shit on other trans women. And there are Jews who support Nazi ideology. So his excuse is dead on arrival. Also, the acronym for sensitive society is SS. Coincidence or dog whistle? Hmm. Still, I wouldn't mind debating or having a conversation with this guy. I get the impression he's not entirely unreasonable considering the people I usually dunk on. Either way, we'll check on this douchebag later, but right now, I have to go play some Resident Evil Village. And unlike Sense of Society, I will not pause the game to jack it to Lady D's mommy milkers.